Hi everyone and welcome to the Master of Chiropractic session. My name is Jacqueline Albert and I'm a student ambassador here at Macquarie University. I am very pleased to be joined by our three speakers today. Dr. Hazel Jenkins, who is a senior lecturer in the Department of Chiropractic, Naomi McDonald, a final year student in the Master of Chiropractic, and Robert Toswell, who is one of our first Masters of Chiropractic alumni who graduated in 1990. Robert's now a practicing chiropractor at the Epping Family Wellness Center. Our speakers are about to share their expert insights into the chiropractic field, as well as their personal journeys and experiences. We are very excited to have them here today. So let's start with a question for Hazel. Some of our audience are studying the Bachelor of Chiropractic Science, whilst others may have experience in related fields, but not chiro. So I was wondering if you could please share what the Master of Chiropractic program looks like and what students can expect from it. Yeah, absolutely. So the Masters of Chiropractic is a clinical program. So when you graduate from the program, you can be registered as a chiropractor in Australia. So because of this, the program is um, builds on what you've done in either an undergraduate um, science or health related degree. And um, we really focus in on the master's program, on the clinical aspects. That includes how to um, diagnose a patient, how to interact with a patient, and then how to manage them with a particular focus on the musculoskeletal system, as that's predominantly what chiropractors treat. Um, so over the course of the master's program, you'll be doing um, subjects in um, diagnosis, such as um, orthopedics, neurology, radiology, um, differential diagnosis of the organ systems. Then you'll also be doing a lot of management units where we look at different types of management, such as um, spinal manipulation, um, rehabilitation, and a number of other different techniques as well. This all culminates in the final year of the master's program where you do your clinical placement. And so in the final year, you spend um, at least two shifts a week treating patients within one of our three um, student clinics that we run through Macquarie University. And um, you also spend some time um, working in the reception area as well. So you get to learn all about how a clinic works and so that you're really ready to um, start work as a clinician when you finish. Um, and so that's a very exciting year. We actually get to put together everything that you've learned throughout the rest of the Masters of Chiropractic and in a real practical um, session, um, you're actually dealing with patients um, who come from the public. Um, they come to see you and obviously you're supervised by practicing chiropractors and you get to put it all together. Um, so it is a very much a clinical program. Um, because of this as well, in addition to the clinical placement, we do have a number of um, uh, units that have quite high practical components. So there is a, a large degree of the unit um, that has to be done on campus. Um, lectures, the more theory components can often be done off campus and we have online delivery for some of those, but um, the actual practical components do need to be on campus. So um, students need to be aware that there, there is a, a certain amount of time they have to be able to put aside to be able to spend on campus and um, be able to split their week that way. Um, but mostly we find students find those to be the, the most enjoyable subjects where they actually get to get their hands in and, and um, practice what they're learning. Um, so actually to get into the Masters of Chiropractic, there's two main pathways. So the first one is if you've completed a Bachelor of Chiropractic Science at Macquarie University. Um, that is a three-year undergraduate degree. And in that degree, um, you've covered basic science subjects and also some chiropractic units as well. If you come through that pathway, you come straight into the second year of the master's program. So the master's program is three years long, but if you have done the Bachelor of Chiropractic Science, you come straight into the second year, so then you do a two-year master's program. You can also come in from any other um, health or science-related um, bachelor's program. So you need a bachelor's degree, but you can do that at any institute. It needs to be related to health and science, and you have to have done at least one unit of anatomy, one unit of physiology, and have a weighted average mark of at least 50 to be eligible to enter the Master of Chiropractic. Using that pathway, you come into the three-year program, and in that first year, you basically do a lot of the chiropractic units that are included in the Bachelor of Chiropractic Science degree. So you're learning some of your preliminary skills and some early diagnosis type units as well. So we do have a couple of different pathways to get there though. Wonderful, thank you for that introduction. 
I'm sure our viewers are also very curious about the student experience and what it's actually like to work as a chiropractor. So we'll have Naomi and Robert shed some light on this next. First question is for Naomi. I was wondering what are the best parts about studying the Master of Chiropractic at Macquarie University? Yeah, so for me, the standout of why I've really loved this degree is the amount of hands-on, that practical work and engagement you have with your peers and your tutors. So I think so many of my friends have an experience of university is quite solitary and almost competitive in nature. But in Cairo, you're really in this team environment. So, uh, you know, working as a team, you get to engage in the knowledge aspect, the learning, the lecture content. Then you learn how to put that into a practical means and then with your peers and your tutors, you contextualize that into, you know, real patient cases. And I think what I love most is you create this kind of feedback loop of learning amongst each other rather than really being stuck on your own sort of thing um, and figuring out your own pathway there. So that's a real highlight for me. I think what's more is that it took me by surprise the depth that you really learn um, when you go into health. So AKA chiropractors don't just crack backs. Um, you go into learning about nutrition, neurology, pharmacology, mental health. Uh, like Hazel touched on, there's a wide variety of units that you get to engage in. So the course at Macquarie really encapsulates the whole person, I believe. and you get to have this well-rounded learning experience where you get to feel a lot more confident in yourself and in your skills and more importantly what you can provide to your patient as well so that's a major highlight for me making me want to do the, this master's program <laughs> it sounds really interesting and exciting and so my second question is for robert and that was what does a day in the life of a chiropractor look like well the day really is whatever you want to make it. And what I mean by that is there are so many different styles of uh, practice in terms of the business arrangements as well. So someone who's working for themselves is going to have a totally different day to someone who's an associate in a practice or someone uh, who's employed by someone else or even... Uh, some people choose to actually just do locum work. So obviously the flexibility that the day offers, depending on what you choose to do, uh, is actually uh, one of the things that I like about it as well. Personally, uh, as a business owner, uh, I'm happy in that. It gives me the, uh, the routine that, that I like. But if you're not a routine person, that's okay. You can do multiple practices, multiple whatever you like. So, so realistically, yeah, a day in the life of a chiropractor opens itself up to whatever you choose to make it. Now, within that day, you're always going to have your challenges and rewards. They're going to come across no matter what form of practice you're in. Uh, and now personally, uh, what I found over the years that's been uh, the most challenging thing is that a lot of the patients you actually get, uh, uh, you were their last port of call. So they've been to everyone else. No one else has done anything. It's now your, uh, it's now your turn to have a go, for want of a better term. Uh, and it's happening a little bit less now than it used to years ago. Uh, now that chiropractic is integrated into the uh, what I would call the uh, established medical system, so to speak. Uh, but it still happens. Uh, yeah, generally, the first port of call for people would be their GP and then moving on from there. Uh, but that being a challenge, it's also rewarding when you get the results. Uh, and, you know, there's part of you that really feels good when you see patients actually improving and improving their lifestyle, improving you know, things. I couldn't do this before, now I can. Those sort of things that you get are the biggest reward that I find uh, from practice itself. Uh, and it, you also on occasions get other uh, benefits in terms of 
You're, they've come in with one condition, but now they're finding something else is improving at the same time. So, you know, they came in because of back pain or what, as a nice generic. But all of a sudden now, because they haven't got back pain, they're able to be more uh, active. So therefore, they get the knock-on health effects of that increased activity. Um, so, you know, the day itself, uh, mostly seeing patients, these, and following them through in their journeys, uh, that's really the, the most rewarding part of the day, really. Uh, and, you know, if we look at the integration into the system as well, I remember when I first started practice, uh, trying to communicate and chat with doctors and that sort of thing was, it was almost unheard of. You could attempt to, but you're almost brushed off. What's happening now much more, and um, certainly this has happened to me in, in recent years, has been that I've had orthopaedic surgeons and neurosurgeons actually ringing me and asking, what are you doing, what's happening? And there's actually a professional dialogue there as well, which also, you know, that, that is extremely rewarding when these uh, specialists see you being actually at their level. So it's a bit of a roundabout, but that, that's overall the sort of thing in the day that you will come across all of these sort of things. Wonderful. Thank you. It's really inspiring to hear from both of you and especially to hear what you personally like about the job, about the industry. I think that's going to be very useful for the people who are watching. So thank you again. My next question is for Hazel. So we've already touched upon this briefly, but I did want to re-emphasize it. So in the past, chiropractic care, as we know, mainly dealt with spine related problems. But now chiropractors are starting to treat other health conditions. So I was wondering what are the types of jobs that masters of chiropractic graduates could go into and what career support is available to them? Great, good question. So chiropractic does address the musculoskeletal system as a whole. So that's what we focus our um, diagnosis and management towards. Um, that includes the spine, that includes the um, extremities, the arms, the legs. Um, we can be treating um, pain particularly would be the most common thing for patients to present to chiropractors to have treated. Um, and that could be pain associated with the joints, the muscles, um, the nerves, etc. Um, but we're also getting an increasing number of patients who just want to be able to do things better as well. And so, as Robert mentioned, you see, you know, you treat their back pain and suddenly they can do more, they can be more active. And we're getting more patients who just want to be able to function better and um, to improve how they can do certain activities. So that can certainly move across into more sports related fields as well and really trying to optimize sports performance. So we've got a large um, number of chiropractors now who might really focus on more sports related um, areas of chiropractic and, you know, yes, treating conditions related to um, injuries on the sporting field, but also just trying to improve function and trying to get um, them performing as best as they can. Um, so within the actual um, career prospects, the majority of um, graduates from the chiropractic program do go into private practice. Um, and so that private practice can be um, by themselves and immediately if they wanted to. Um, so you can set up as a solo clinician from the very start, or you can um, go and work for someone, which would be the most common model, um, and either work as an associate or an employee for an established chiropractic centre. Um, but then within the actual uh, chiropractic practice that you're working in or the one that you're um, starting to build up, you can go in a lot of different directions in there with the different types of people that you see, the different types of conditions um, that you um, address and that you treat. And some people will do a more generalized, um, you know, just sort of treat whatever comes through the door. And others will really focus in on a particular area and get into, um, you know, sports chiropractic or look after uh, children more so, um, or look after conditions associated with the neurology um, a lot more. Um, there's also room to get into things like nutrition a bit more as well because it's also closely related and you know if they've got a problem or pain associated with the musculoskeletal system there can also be issues with nutrition 
Um, we also are involved very much with public health and trying to just promote major public health messages, so such as you know exercising and and trying to get those benefits from exercise and nutrition to help your overall health and not just the particular complaint that um, the patient initially presented with. Um, so there's a wide scope of different things you can end up doing within private practice itself. Other options um, for graduates do include um, potentially going more into, say, research um, or academic life and teaching as well. Um, but there's a big push towards research. We need to know what is going to be the best options for treating our patients, what's going to get them better the quickest. Um, and be able to show reliable results. So there's a big push towards research, and I think chiropractic's really following that. And um, that's also helping to uh, really get us integrated into mainstream healthcare. Um, and so that's a very exciting prospect as well to try and look a bit behind and see, you know, why do these things work and what can um, help patients the best. Um, other graduates can also go into other sort of health-related fields that maybe traditionally aren't quite so related directly to chiropractic, but your training, um, particularly the clinical training from the masters, can really help you with. So I know graduates who have gone into um, things like workers' compensation um, systems and they become claims managers because they have that clinical background where they can really talk through the claims. Um, I've got, I know other graduates who have gone into um, actually working with um, surgical innovations. So I know one chiropractor who... Um, is involved in going into orthopaedic surgeries and she actually controls some of the machines that they use to automate some of the procedures and um, she's in there. So it's her health-related background that um, enabled her to get that sort of work. So there can be quite varied choices, but the main one is to go into private practice. Um, actually helping our graduates to get jobs. Um, first and foremost is um, the Master of Chiropractic at Macquarie University is the longest-running university chiropractic course in Australia and we are really the most well recognised and our graduates are, are looked for. Um, you know, private practices want Macquarie Uni graduates, so that's always a bonus. Um, the M Macquarie University itself helps with um, career information and um, trying to find job prospects, but in particular in the department, uh, we try and push this forward as well. Um, in the final year of the program, um, we often have chiropractors approaching us for um, graduates who are coming up and advertising their positions and um, we usually run a um, what I call a careers fair where we get practicing chiropractors in um, for the day and, and connect them with graduating students so that they can try and find um, you know a good placement. Um, the other thing we always encourage our students to do is to get involved with the chiropractic community from um, as early as possible during their degree program. Um, as Naomi mentioned, it's very, very inclusive, the chiropractic degree. Everyone's working together and we try and encourage that in the profession as well. And so going out there and actually observing chiropractors, seeing how different chiropractors work um, and making connections with the profession, we really encourage that as well. That's so interesting. Thank you for your response. My next question was for Naomi and I was just wondering what were your career aspirations moving forward? So my next step from leaving university is actually working amongst remote small towns in Western Australia. So I've been offered a really great opportunity to work in Exmouth, which is where the World Heritage listed Ningaloo Reef is. And my aspirations at the moment really revolve around finessing my skills as a chiropractor. So whether that be my adjustments or my functional rehab, I just want to fine tune those guys um, as best as I can. And uh, you know, working in these remote communities, I think it's important that I keep an eye out for what public health issues are at large. So maybe I will be looking more into paediatric neurodevelopment, falls prevention, you know, what's causing people to take part in risky behaviours or um, even looking into some women's health aspects as well that is really needed in these towns. Um, I think the beauty of becoming a chiropractor and having this well-rounded knowledge of health and intervention types is that you can make such a change in every part of an individual's health and lifestyle choices. So um, you really do look at the person as a whole and working where I will be in very, very remote towns, um, that's crucial. You can't just treat the symptoms. You need to look at the whole person. So I do think the course at Macquarie has really set me up um, well to feel confident in doing such. Um, and I think as a fresh rookie graduate straight out of uni, you know, my goal is to keep an open mind and establish first off the importance of good communication. 
that's that's my number one goal at the moment. That sounds amazing. Congratulations on those opportunities and good luck with them as well. Um, so Robert, as a practicing chiropractor who has been in the industry, how do you see your career developing in the next few years? Going forward, uh, actually I'd like to preface it by going back and then we'll go forward from there in terms of how, as I've been in the, the profession now for just on 30 years, uh, there's a little bit of uh, how it has developed over the years as well. So you know, initially when I graduated, it was very much the general practice and that sort of thing. And then through my sporting interests, uh, I then went on and did further study through Macquarie Uni doing a uh, postgraduate diploma in sports chiropractic uh, and then then got to work with um, yeah, all level of sports people from uh, junior kids all the way through to international level athletes. Uh, so that, uh, in terms of the... That was a, a developmental process for me. Uh, now we've dropped. I've dropped back from that, uh, and probably over about the last ten years, have become more uh, involved in a family type general practice, uh, and uh, and also through that period, worked out that uh, I really felt like I wanted to put something back into the profession. And so that's where I started then working with the university again uh, as a supervisor in the uh, outpatients clinic that uh, Hazel was talking about. So, uh, and that's a, that's a couple of days a week for me doing that with them. And it's, uh, I see going forward and from there in continuing that on. And the balance that I've got now, I think, is a balance that I can maintain for a fairly extended period of time. So uh, that that's pushing the buttons. And how will it develop going forward? Well, I see it as more of the same, really, uh, continuing on enjoying what I'm doing uh, and keeping doing it, putting a bit back into the profession as well. Uh, but, yeah, that's where I see it happening going forward. I really like that you emphasize the flexibility of options in the industry. I think it's really good for those of you watching to actually hear that you do have the option of going into private practice and you do have the option of pursuing research and it doesn't matter where you are in your profession, but there will always be options available to you. So I think that was a really good response. My next question was for Hazel. So I was wondering, because we've been talking a little bit about trends, I was wondering what other emerging trends can we expect to see in the chiropractic field that would give our aspiring prospective students some insights into their future career. Yes, thank you. So yeah, I think we've touched on a number of these already, but um, yeah, one of the, the biggest emerging trends I would say is the um, increased focus on research. Um, and that's probably something that's really developed the profession over the last um, 10, 20 years or so. Um, and just really um, trying to build that evidence base for uh, what it is that we do and how we can best help patients and then actually get that evidence base integrated into clinical practice. And I think that will become more and more of a focus in the years moving forward, which is a great thing because it just means we can be more confident about the results that we can provide for our patients and, um, and what it is that we can be successful in doing and be able to um, give that confidence to the patients as well. Um, so I think that's a really excellent way that our profession can grow. Um, and it's through being able to show and demonstrate results as well that we'll be able to get more and more integrated into the healthcare systems. And we are integrated at the moment. We're in private health um, care systems. Um, we do have some involvement in um, public health care through the Medicare systems as well. Um, but there can always be more integration. And um, I think just being able to show and demonstrate that what we do really works for patients, that patients get better, that patients like that style of treatment, et cetera, can, can be really helpful with that um, and hopefully see chiropractic just growing as a profession moving forward. Um, the other trends that we see are definitely to um, what happens postgraduate wise. Um, so the Masters of Chiropractic is a great um, degree to set you up for that entry into the chiropractic profession. Um, but of course, we can't teach absolutely everything as much as we'd love to. Um, and so the, the basic degree is teaching you, um, you know, the groundwork. So, you know, enough about everything so you can go out and confidently treat in chiropractic practice. 
but there are lots of chiropractors who then want to specialize further. So as Robert mentioned, doing um, a postgraduate in sports chiropractic, um, there are a number of different um, postgraduate courses um, that may be run through weekend seminars or more formal education through universities, where you can really then start to specialize along certain different areas that you have more interest in. So things like the sports chiropractic or the um, uh, neurology, treating children, etc. We have um, more and more postgraduate opportunities in those areas. So you can really specialize and be even more confident um, about your treatment in those, those regions. Um, and lastly, as I briefly touched on earlier as well, is the public health side of just trying to really um, get patients active and um, get them good nutrition and really thinking about their whole body health. We definitely have seen over the past um, you know, 20, 30 years, a big increase in chronic disease, um, particularly as patients get older. Um, and you know, basics like good nutrition and exercise really, really help to, um, to try and manage those chronic diseases. And I see chiropractic as a great way to get in and help patients with that. Um, often patients aren't exercising because they are in pain or they're, they're not functioning as well as possible. And so our treatments can help get them back to be able to um, do exercise more easily and more enjoyably. Um, and we can also provide other advice around nutrition, et cetera, as well. So I really feel that's a, a great way for chiropractic profession to move forward as well as um, in the more public health domain. Yeah, there's some very insightful trends there. And I think, as I said earlier, it's really good for those of you watching to hear about where the industry is moving because it, I think, informs your choice about whether or not you'd like to, to do the Master of Chiropractic. So thank you for that response. And I do have one final question. If there is one piece of advice that you could give to future students, what would it be? Good question. Um, okay, but short and sweet when you get into that chiropractic tutorial room to practice your skills don't just practice on your one good buddy every class <laughs> uh, you know your tutors will tell you your lecturers will tell you but it is i think the most important thing to establish well-rounded skills adapting your skills and your communication to every single student um, and a you will become obviously a better practitioner but b you actually make so many good mates uh, by doing that as well and the social aspect of the chiropractic degree is really fun as well. So just get involved, get your hands on, enjoy the practical content um, and really creating, like I said before, that feedback loop uh, where you really help each other learn along the way, I think is just the best part of it. Um, and most importantly, don't be afraid to ask questions and seek help. You know, I feel like by the end of your master's program, you've actually made quite good mates with your tutors and your supervisors. They actually feel more like colleagues as opposed to the top dog professors looking down on you. So uh, just be comfortable to make conversations with anyone that you get to engage with during the program. Thank you so much to Hazel, Naomi and Robert for your insights into the Master of Chiropractic. And thank you to everyone who's watching as well. If you have more questions about the course or want to have a one-on-one -on -one chat to discuss your study plans, you can always contact our postgraduate team on 02 9850-6791 or via email, which is postgraduate at macquarie.edu.au. Thanks again and hope to see you soon at Macquarie University.